Yep, so tonight was an update where two Rhode Island residents were reported to the federal treasury for stealing the rent relief money. Guess who? Anyway, I will not let it go. I know people think, oh, why would I? So you know what? I'm getting my money from Rhode Island. By the way, I want you to watch this interview. And after the interview, I have a couple of comments. Well, this is a story we told you about in recent weeks. Tenants getting federal money from Rhode Island rent relief and then failing to pay their landlords. It's your tax money at work. NBC 10 IT reporter Tamara Sikarsik is here now with the update on how the state is maybe cracking down. Tamara? Well, Patrice and Jean, I've learned that two Rhode Islanders have been reported to the U.S. Treasury for this, so for failing to pay their rent. So these are tenants who applied for federal assistance. They got the money, but then they allegedly didn't pay the landlord what they owed. I do think it has happened to other landlords. Weeks after the I-team introduced you to Andrew Butler, a property manager whose tenant allegedly refused to pay him $12,000 in rent relief money despite a contract obligation, we're learning he's not alone. Several landlords have contacted us on social media saying they too haven't seen a dime. One woman told me, quote, the tenant flew the coop with all $17,000. 0.12% of tenants who've been uh, paid directly aren't experiencing this particular this issue. Christine Hunsinger of RI Housing says out of the over 1,000 tenants paid directly, two have been reported to the U.S. Treasury for not giving the money to their landlords. Three additional cases are waiting for confirmation. These are people who essentially took the money and ran with it. Well, that's your characterization. What's your characterization? These are, these are cases where the tenant was paid directly because the landlord refused to participate. Federal regulations do allow the state to pay the tenant directly if the landlord refuses to participate, but Butler claims he did participate and the check was given to the wrong person. Has any money been issued in error? So we've got over 7,000 families help. I, I would not be so bold as to say that we have not made a mistake, but uh, I'm not aware of any at this time. Hunsinger says landlords need to remember that while the program can help them, it's intended to prevent tenants from losing their homes. This program is designed for renters and landlords benefit when they participate, but they can also be hurt when they refuse to participate because the, the tenant can get the money and not necessarily remit it to the landlord. But if that does happen, we turn those na names over to Treasury uh, and at, at some point they'll make a decision about what what further action, if any, they want to take. Actions including a potential ban from future federal assistance. They signed a contract. They should they should use those funds for what it was intended. Hunsinger also says that mail delays have bogged down the system in recent weeks, so in some cases it has taken 10 to 14 days for checks to clear an account, which means if the money was sent to the tenant, the landlord may have to wait a bit longer to get it. For the NBC Tonight team, I'm Tamara Sikarczyk. Yes, I have no respect at all for Hunsinger. You saw her being interviewed, okay? by Tamara. I have no respect for it all. She keeps saying, referring to the landlord who did not participate. I have 25 payments that were made to me by my tenants from rent relief. We did participate. So she needs to stop saying that. It's wrong. She's ignorant. She's paid by our tax dollars to be ignorant. Okay. We did participate. It's just her trying to save her butt. And hopefully her butt won't be saved after this because I'm going after her. I'm not letting it go. I'm not letting it go. Who the heck does she think she is going on TV saying that we didn't participate? Obviously, we participated. We've had 25 payments. She also stumbled when Tamara asked her about, has anybody else, you know, taken the money and has there been any other mistakes been made? And she stumbled on that. Well, there was a mistake made. We have it documented, documented that they made a mistake. But she won't admit it. She won't say it. That's all right. We, I have no problem making the documents public, and I will. So it's unfortunate, but that's the update. Meanwhile, that's great news to hear that our two tenants are finally out of the, not only are they out of my apartment, but guess what? The apartment got rented today. That apartment that the bum was in was rented today. Happened to be this morning. My crew was in there painting it. Um, in fact, it's kind of funny. We weren't even showing that apartment. We were showing the one downstairs and the people downstairs, hey, do you have any others? Well, there's a two bedroom upstairs. If you'd like to take a look at it. And they went upstairs. They loved it. And they rented it. So not only is the apartment we rented, he's gone. And now this is beautiful because it looks like now the U.S. Treasury is going to go after him. So you know what? 
I'm very, very satisfied. Very satisfied.